afternoon. Sometime today. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna up a little bit of siding today. To go on our uh, outdoor bar. Outdoor bar or kayak rental. Or bar. <laughs> but, uh, kayak shack. <laughs> I'm just getting it squared up so I can just start milling. Siding. It's gonna be board and batten on the outside. The wider you get it, the more it covers. So. Right. So these boards are gonna be what about eight inches, ten inch, nine inches wide. Probably. I think it looks better when the the boards are wider too. Yeah. That's thirteen inches. Cool. I mean, you can cover six foot span, you know. You're talking about six boards. Right. You can cover a lot of area with them if they're good and wide. It's just hard to find poplars. That wide. Like that. And milling something that big, it's, a, it's hard on this little mill, but it's it does it. Just takes it a little bit longer to chew through it. So are you going to leave those boards that wide, or are you going to maybe... No, I'm going to leave them that wide. You're going to leave them that wide? And then how wide will the batting strips be? About an inch? Two inches. Two inches. Yeah. So if it's 13, a board's 13 wide, then actually 11 of it is going to be exposed. Yeah. yeah. It look good. Cool. Okay. They're going to be right at three quarters of an inch. Poplar, you can go down to almost half an inch. Just like for siding on stuff like that. It just saves on the weight. Right. Moving it and stuff. But, uh, and we're moving this. You're moving this the old Egyptian way. Yeah. <laughs> hey, them Egyptians knew what they were doing, putting those rollers underneath and well, logs I'd underneath. PVC pipe. It wasn't my idea. It was the person I delivered one day. <laughs> <coughs> he was moving it around the yard with it. And I thought, that worked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just put PVC underneath them. I mean, you can push them anywhere you want. Yep. No big deal. But yeah, I'm going to cut one more half inch board off of that, then I'm going to roll it over and square it up, and then it start going down through it. Cool. I didn't know if you needed to cut the bottom where it's still. Yeah, I'm going to cut one more so it'll be a good square can. Okay. I mean, we can use them, we can cut them down to certain. We need to cut them down a little or whatever. Right. Just taking a little bit to roll through it. Well, you just don't go fast. You go fast, you start getting that wave. Wave. I mean, if I events, if when that motor goes out, I'm gonna put like a 14 horse motor on it, so it'll be enough torque and horsepower where you can push a little bit faster than it. What is it right now? It's a nine, nine, nine point nine or something like that. So basically a ten horse. Basically a ten horse. 
but it needs to be like a 14. I mean, they've even got them where they hook them up on. They put an electric motor on them. Right. But you'd have to have 220 down here to run that. And that you're just better off putting a stronger motor. Bigger motor on it. Now, this isn't a uh, tulip poplar. Yep. Is it? Yep. Oh. Only kind of poplar I know. Well, okay, rainbow. That's, that's what I was thinking. Don't have the color in it. No, it doesn't have the color. Well, you got to get a bite there, don't you? Huh? I said it wasn't getting a bite. No. It will. That's one thing about this wood miser can't. You can get a bite. So if you're starting in into this, make sure you have a good cant. Yep. Yeah, and it gives you enough leverage where you can roll a big log. Right. It's probably the five foot one. Off that little short one. <laughs> it's you, hard to roll a big log with a little short one. You still use it every now and then. Oh, yeah. I can't believe how this weather is changing by the minute. Earlier today, it was nice and warm and sunny, and now it's cloudy and overcast and they're saying tomorrow it's gonna tomorrow into Tuesday is gonna get really cold, which I hope not. Which it's what dogwood winter, I think. Yeah, dogwood winter. Probably because that's what's starting to play. Blackberries ain't out. Yet, no, so. I think it's dogwood winter. But I've got trees, fruit trees that are starting to bloom a little bit, and I We're don't. Gonna get bit. Yeah, I don't want them to get bit because I want to have fruit off of my fruit trees. They're going to get bit. Well, I know the peach trees are blooming, the big peach trees. The other ones are not yet, so. I don't know how you keep them from getting bit. <laughs> I don't know either. Can't bring them in the house. No. I mean, I know down in Florida, they'll coat them in water, but we'd have to be out here at five o'clock in the morning before it turned off real cold in the morning spraying it so you're getting up in the morning at five no. <laughs> i don't know hope maybe we'll be sheltered up here on the hill and it won't maybe sprout. but they've not done any, anything for about three years yeah
new blade on there and they tighten it up.
just doing water and pine salt. Yep. Don't spill that. Oh, <laughs> I start to say, I'll go all over the place. Water and pine salt. You really don't need pine salt and poplar. No, but it's, it don't hurt. It, it still keeps, helps lubricate. You know, that and it keeps the blade clean. Yeah, this is a good little meal if you're If you're like a homestead, yeah, like a little homestead, and you're just building projects around your house, we're doing a little bit more with it than what it's meant to be. But well, we really didn't know what. No, I didn't. <laughs> I bought it to add on to our deck. And right. That's what we done with it, and then this other stuff started happening. But we'll just. Uh... And we look at. Possibly in the near, you know, in the next five years, maybe upgrading to a bigger one, you know. Yeah. Well, the older I get, I mean, it's, I don't care whether, I really don't care. Every, <laughs> yes, everybody's got don't a <laughs> manual mill, don't care whether it's hydraulic, but you, hydraulics would come in handy, but if it had, if it would just feed itself, I don't care turning logs. I can turn the logs with the thing. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't need to lift arm and all that stuff. But just uh, the turner would be nice. And the self-feed would be nice where you could just stand back here and feed it instead of pushing it. But then what would you be doing? Sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> no. But uh, it would just to turn out more more product. The way we're doing that, this is fine. I can work on one little project and I can I mill up one project at a time. Well, and also you've done a lot of specialty cuts like for yeah. um, mantles and things like that. Yeah. And mantles and slabs and stuff. It's just a, it would be a whole lot quicker with the other, but it's just time and I enjoy doing it. So, Well, and if you have it where it's feeds itself and loads itself and all this other stuff yeah it'd be less uh, pressure physical. physical on you but then also you're not getting your exercise and as you get older I get enough exercise <laughs> but you need physical labor yeah i need i've got physical labor. <laughs> i've got that cup yeah but uh yeah but it, it's a good little meal yeah I just noticed you ain't got green on. I'm pancha. I got green underwear on. No, you don't. <laughs> ain't got no green on. My gloves got their green tan. Yeah. And this is green. No, that's gray. It's green. It's gray. You're colorblind. All right, we're going to get back to doing this. I'm going to mill this one up and then uh, we're going to have some supper. Yeah. I won't work too long today. I'd like to go morel hunting in a while. <coughs> if we find some morels, we'll put it out there. Yeah. If not, no, we didn't find any. <laughs> Our neighbor find, well, two or three people around here find them like crazy. And they're like, oh, it's so easy. Once you see them, then you, you know, you can't not see them. Well, evidently, we've never seen them before, so. Because I can't not see them. Yeah. <laughs> They, they don't stick out. They say once you spot them, then from then on, you know exactly what you're looking for. But Yeah. I hadn't seen any, but oh, we but, may not have been looking in the right spots. Yeah, but we love cooking them, and they're oh, yeah, so I good. Yeah. But I'm going to get busy and finish this up. Yep. I'll get busy. I'm going to stand over here. Right. You, you cut that one there, and then we can... Yeah. I'm going to let you meal a little bit longer than I'll.
how many more would you get? Uh, several. About ten more? Close to finishing that. I mean, you got to think about it. That right there is four foot. It's eight by six. Wow. But we need twelve. to meal and about the time he gets this one done I should have dinner ready um, well remember to like subscribe and share we love hearing from you let us know what you're doing how you're doing